Er wohnt hier und er neu lohnt sich zu Pizzas. Welcome Reaper Miniature fans! Today we have the Cavern Crawler. This was sculpted by Bob Ollie and is an amazing sculpt. I really like this. It's an old school character sculpt. Um, it's a dragon without the wings. It's a Cavern Crawler. It's a carry-on. It's um, a beautiful miniature for your dungeons. This is the perfect scale for use in your games if you're if you love dungeon crawler games like I do and this this miniature will work a treat for you. Now I got to four scale here. That's for you to give you an idea. So there's four scale next to the dragon. So it's quite a good size dragon. It's um as you can see, it's it's just the right size to fit in a nice dungeon or any cavern builds. So this is why I, I like I, I like a mid-sized dragon because the mid-sized dragons fit. Um, I love all Reaper Miniatures dragons, but I actually prefer the mid-sized range, like the young swamp dragon, uh, you know, the young forest dragons. They're all at a, a size that's that really fits well in the game. They're not oversized. The trouble with having an oversized miniature, I find, is you, you can't fit them on the table. <laughs> so these miniatures around this scale uh, work perfect for me. And these are, these are my favorite scale for a miniature to be in my games. So there we are. What I've done so far is I have stuck the miniature together. It's a multi-part kit. All the arms you've got to stick on. I use liquid liquid super glue. Um, I have used some MSP uh, primer to prime the metal. I have added some PVA glue to the uh, base boss 75 millimeter base and I've added some sandy gravel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back and we'll start painting this miniature on. Well today I'm going to get some really bright colors. I'm going to go for a canary yellow and buckskin Pale. Now the buckskin pale I'm going to use for the stomach, legs, and the canary yellow I'm going to paint all the scales. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to try out a contrast paint by Games Workshop on the scales. And it's supposed to really make things super bright and give instant highlights to the scales. So I thought it'd be very interesting. Now as it's a cabin uh, crawler. I was thinking the, the glowing could be, you know, like the Illuminous. You find these creatures in the dark that glow. Um, so I was going to go with greys, but I just thought that would be a little bit too dull. This dragon, I'm going to make it really stand out. Um, I painted the grey there. This is going to have a black ink wash over the base, and then I'll, I'll be dry brushed. So what I'll do is I'll come back once I've added these two things, and then we'll go through that contrast paint together. Okay, I've got my base colours on. What I'm going to do now is add some ink washes. This is the Soft Tone by Army Painter, and that's going to go all over the belly and the head, the claws of the miniature. This is a Soft Tone ink wash, so it will still bring out all the details, but it will just be a nice hint of colour going down into the recesses of the miniature, and it will work perfect with this colour. Now for the next one, we're using this Contrast Yellow. This is um, from Citadel. I don't use much of Citadel stuff, uh, but I've heard good things about this actual ink. Now, what's strange is it looks orange. It looks totally orange, but it is actually yellow. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and put that on together now. Let's see how this works with our yellow then. I'm just going to use a wash brush and we're going to work our way along all these scales.
As you can see, it's working into the scales very well. It's giving off a very vibrant colour. Going along those scales, as you can see. It's actually very, very nice. Remember, if you take if you put too much ink wash off, you can just take the, the take the excess off your brush, and then like so, and then go back where you were, and your brush will actually soak up that excess paint. Let's just go along those horns as well. I like that very much. Yes, that's very nice. Look at that, that's beautiful. That, that does look very nice. Now, we do need to let it dry to get the full effect. So, what I'll do is I'll come back once it's dried, because at the minute it's giving us shine, um, which is very nice actually. But uh, let's get this dried and then we can come back and take another look. And what I'll do is I'll add that black ink wash and I'll add the brown and let that all dry and come back and show you what's next. And there we are. Well, it's coming out very well so far. So all the ink washes have been added. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to dry brush a little bit of the original canary yellow onto the back of the spine of these um, scales. And the same with the uh, front on the stomach area. I will just do a little dry brush with some buckskin pale. Um, and then all I'm going to do is some skeleton bone dry brushed on top of these stones. And I've got some of these um, skulls. These are the Games Workshop Packer skulls. What I've done, I've painted them on the sprues. So that you've got some skeleton bone. I've had a brown dry brush and then just a, um, a brown ink wash and then a brown dry brush excuse me um, and what I'll do is I'm gonna take a few of these off and just dot them around the base I'll paint in the eyes and the tongue and we'll be done so what I'm gonna do is get this all finished up and then I'll come back and I'll show you the finished miniature so here is the finished cavern crawler it came out fantastic that uh, contrast paint by um, Games Workshop um, works very very well I highlighted it with the canary yellow like I told you with the dry brushing uh, but it's given a fantastic orange to all the recesses and it's highlighted the yellow areas um, it's given a beautiful look to the whole spine of this dragon um, I'm very impressed very nice and um, the rest of the miniature as you can see I've added skulls to the base um, I painted in the claws and the teeth and the eyes and everything has been done to uh, acceptable tabletop standard. I'm very happy with this. So if you enjoy what I'm doing, then please sub to the channel. If you enjoy the channel and you want to support the channel, then please become a patron. All patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos. So until next time.
Sleep well. Dream of evil. Paintbrushes. <laughs>